Their rewritten history and misguided information stole us from our homeland with no hesitation. Divide and conquer. Now you're beefing over sets with your neighbors when all of Algiers started out a part of King's Plantation. Yes, I'm talking slave grounds. It's where they dropped us off and cleaned us up before shipping us across town. Ordered to slave for the French in their quarters. Before the slaves helped the Spanish clear the land, Appaloosa's Avenue was the home of the Native Americans. Us Negroes, we were just a big part of the development plans. Supernova Fit, AKA and leader of the Black Thighs Matter Gang, CEO of the brand, um, and all that jazz. Uh, so I'll start with Supernova Fit. I became a trainer about five years ago. Didn't even know that this was gonna be my path, my journey. I started working out solely for me, no goal in mind, slow and steady, and Somewhere midway throughout the journey, I noticed that my community, people around me, you became inspired um, once I post my videos on social media. And then the switch happened. It became less about me and more about the community. I started researching and finding out all of the foods that's poisoning us and it's the reason for all the cancers and the reason that we're dying and how it's everything is systematic. And that's when I really took it personal because you know, I graduated from college in communication, so I'm like, okay, I have a little, a little knowledge. I know a little something about a little something. And I just felt like bamboozled, like they pulled the wool over our eyes um, as a black community about what food is and why, you know, we have certain stores in our neighborhoods. And so I, it became real personal. And um, then I realized that, hey, this may be a thing, but still was kind of skeptical. Um, and still was doing my thing for me and for the people posting videos and everything and then somebody asked me to train them one day and I said yes and the rest was kind of history I was working at the school at the time uh, <laughs> doing a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't go to school to do but I, I love the kids and I had to make a decision that either I was gonna uh, go with working at the school where I didn't even know if I was going to have a job next year or if I was going to take that leap of faith and, and be all in with this. So I got certified. I quit my job at the school and I've been training ever since. And um, Black Thighs Matter came about in 2016. I started training in 2015. Black Thighs Matter came about in 2016. It, it really... <laughs> Dead ass, this is how it happened. Uh, I had on some shorts, which I never wore, because I was very self-conscious um, about my thighs. Uh, they called me Thunder Thighs in high school, because I was a majorette, I was the captain, so I was front and center. I had to step high. I had to show what I had, and, and so, um, but during that time, I would actually get physical burns from the stockings, from, from rubbing, my thighs rubbing, and I would have to endure that pain, and nobody knew this like throughout the whole parade and y'all know how long parades are um and so but fast forward i had on some shorts and one of my friends was like okay black thighs they matter and i was like hmm. you know i'm activist black lives matter been on the front lines and then i was like but this thigh thing is a that's activism as well and so i was like i'm gonna make this a thing because i actually have a story behind this I took that and I ran with it and I honestly didn't, I didn't know um, all that it would become. Um, I always knew the mission behind it. It was always, everything that I've ever done is built on self-love, um, um, self-empowerment, um, women supporting women, black people supporting black people. And, but I just never knew how big <laughs> it would actually get. I only started with t-shirts and then you know, it morphed into 
a whole line and 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 I have no idea you know where it's gonna go but like I said it's always started and always will be and have been about self-love um, not conforming to European standards um, our thighs do matter and I felt like it needed to be said because we can't find denim that fits us right I mean now they have fashion over but that's a whole nother story um, you know I want to wear thigh boots um, and you know it's just and it's more than it's also more than physical um, black women in particular always um, find things that are wrong with their bodies so much when we look at ourselves we look at what we don't like um, and so it's taught to it teaches you or are trying to teach you to love yourself as you are it's okay to change um, how you look or what you want what your goals want to be but it starts with self-love because if you're steadily chasing something and you have not found that self-love then you're gonna stay on a continuous chase um, so you know the brand my business supernova fit and black thighs matter um, they are separate but they're definitely definitely intertwined to definitely hit home with self-love again I must keep on saying it with um, health black health in particular um, and we just have to take care of ourselves and and realize that like the mission says that we are the standard um, and and we the shit and this shit is for us and so um, yeah we got to do that and that's who we are that's who I am and I hope that every person that supports that wears it is forever empire empowered um, un unapologetic unapologetically bold and black and proud about that um, and who you are and love yourself no matter what your size is and no, no matter what size you work towards or to get to um, because it's bigger than that and it's always deeper than that and um, that's just what I hope people see and understand when they see Black Lives Matter when they see Supernova Fit or they hear the name um, it's all about community if it wasn't for y'all it'll be no me um, so it's for us Out and the curls get bigger. She snapping friends and taking pictures. The light hitting the melanin kitchen. She the centerfold at my middle lobe on my jet issues with one page features. She's a keeper and bring it to the table, but she got her own visa. She ain't Beyonce, but I swear that girl a diva. And her ex man, he was a dummy. He chose to leave her. He was supposed to lead her. Now nah, look how I treat her. I'm looking for her way like a Sadie. I'm trying to meet her. Melanin fever. I be the doctor to treat you. In my two seater, I come get you like Daniel Caesar. Top down with the breeze we can move with the trees and the only thing matter on this road is you and me we only got 10 more miles so let's get deep so sit back relax and baby this is for my queens